How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and men and women, and my friends everywhere? I am the professor in this place, and physics is our business. And we encounter a new and strange phenomenon. Indeed, we might view all these things that I show and do in this way, a heterogeneous array of enchanting things for inquiring minds. That's a very pretty description of it all. Consider what we now meet up with. I am going to have a coil of wire, coil of wire, connected to a meter, a meter which I'm labeling G, meaning a galvanometer. Gal, van, ometer. A galvanic meter. And I urge you to go read about Luigi Galvani, a compatriot of Alessandro Volta, who had the idea that there is electricity in animals. Yes, yes, this reminds me of a little story that you must hear. When I lecture in a formal way on the nature of matter, I make it clear that all stuff is electrical in nature. Sure it is, it's all electrons and protons. So on occasion in a lecture, I tear off a piece of my flesh and say to my students, do you see this piece of flesh that I have torn off? And they all do, because they all must have imaginations to live with me. So I say, that piece of flesh, I am all electrical in nature. And some years ago, a bright fellow remote in the class said, is that why on professor, is that why professor on occasion, you are such high voltage? The fellow should have made an A in the course. Well, anyway, here is such a coil as I have shown on the board, wires wound so. And there is a hole in the coil tape around it to protect it, and these are the ends of the coil, which I have connected with wires to the galvanometer. Now I am going to take a bar magnet, a bar magnet which has certain polarity, and that itself is a mysterious thing, and I'm going to put one end marked so we can identify it, and here's what I'm going to do. I don't care whether that's an N end or an S end, doesn't matter. I am going to do this. I'm going to thrust the magnet into the coil and we'll see the needle move either right or left. When the magnet is quiet at rest in the coil, nothing happens. When I pull the coil out, the needle goes the other way. Let me start all over with the magnet the other way around and the direction of motion of the needle will be in the reverse order. And so we have electromagnetic induction discovered in 1831 by our beloved Michael Faraday. 1831. He worked on this idea for 11 years. So you see, it is not trifling. And it is this which we are going to see, which is the foundation of all our electrical science. So watch it. I'm going to put this white end in first, into the coil, to the left, and now at rest, and the needle is zero, to the right, to the left, and now at rest, and to the right, for you. Now I'm going to turn it around, to the right, and now at rest, to the left, to the right, and now at rest, to the left. Electromagnetic induction. Now, I have here a piece of a bar magnet, and a very interesting question arises. I have broken a bar magnet and thus made two magnets. It turns out that new poles instantly arise, as I will show you. Watch it. To the left, to the right. To the right, to the left. And I shall, in another program, make some further inquiry about how strong are the pieces of this magnet. If I cut it in half, and the halves in halves, and the quarters in further halves, and so on or as we say in German, und so weiter.